My name is Dan Aaron, and I'll be your host this week. Uh, this uh, show was sponsored by Guitar Showcase in San Jose, California. And today I am an honorary California Beach Boys. Dot com. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> I want to introduce you to Emerald, Dennis Buldo, and Richard Schmidt. Thank you guys for coming on the band, and thank you for wearing, letting me wear the garb today. This You're is, part of the group. I, I, right? I really appreciate it. I feel like I'm part of the group. You feel the shirt I, coming in. <laughs> I can get that low end thing going too. So hey, that's my part. <laughs> but thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about the uh, you know the, the history. Of, yeah, let's go with each of you guys, and then how that kind of uh, worked its way into uh, California Beach Boys. We all grew up in the '60s watching the Beach Boys and the Beatles, and uh, all three of us, as well as the other members of the band, loved loved the harmonies. We just really appreciate it. And as we get more and more into it, we really appreciated the genius of Brian Wilson and the rest of the Beach Boys putting the harmonies together. They're very difficult, very complex. So uh, with that interest always having since we started when we were kids back in the 60s, early 60s, we had this real interest all through our lives, and now we had an opportunity within the last year or so to get together as a group and start doing the same thing that the Beach Boys did years ago. Yeah. And what, where did it all start for you, though? Obviously, it wasn't the Beach Boys starting. You know, when did you start playing? Well, we, another thing we talked about earlier is that uh, we all played accordion. Oh, okay. I think out of the six guys in the band, five of us played accordion. Really. That didn't last too long. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why. The Beatles yeah, and the accordion Asian. was real big in the 60s. <laughs> so when they, weddings. Yeah. When they say real guitar players used to play accordion? Yeah, yeah, or no, they have a sticker that says, oh, you know, accordion players should go to jail or something. Like, play accordion. Play accordion and go to jail, right? So then, you know, then the so, interest was there. We used to yeah. go to the concerts and watch yeah. it. And, and the more we got into it, we said, yeah, we got to do a Beach Boy tribute, and everybody seemed like they'll be on the same page, and finding the chemistry and the blend of the vocals, so it, uh, that's kind of how it started, and then we all kind of got together. Yeah, how about you, Dennis? When, when it, because I know you've played in several bands. I've seen you through the store for years and years, as well as Richard. Yeah, I actually started on saxophone. Um, matter of fact, our first band, we did a couple records under the Jaguar label with Guitar Showcase. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, the Sultans. Yeah. And then um, went into original bands after that. Played with Richard in a couple bands. We played in the house band. And, uh, we, were, we were the FBI, the full-blooded Italians, the IRS, <laughs> the Italian rhythm section. And then, uh, boy, just through the years, we kept playing with each other. Yeah. And everybody for music. It's great. How about you, Rich? Uh, I started probably in the seventh grade with a band called the Dig Beats. Who have since been revived, I guess. Yeah, I've heard that. Right. Sure. Yeah, sure in Santa said. Cruz, they're out of the Santa Cruz area, uh, aren't they? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Actually, right. the, their business card—it was our little photo from our. Right. Uh, it was kind of funny, and uh, and I played in a band called Childhood's End, which we used yeah. to open up a lot for Boz. We we're kind of the house band at the Bodega. Played and with I, Jack. Yeah, yeah that's right. One of our employees, Jack Men, who's also hosts our show sometimes. Yeah. Uh, he was in Childhood's End, so that's a band that goes way. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, that you were them as well. Yeah, and uh, many bands over the year with Dennis, yeah. and then I got together with Mike in Flashback, which is a band Mike established a number of years yeah, ago, years back, yeah. and uh, started playing, and we started doing a few songs in the band, and Mike and I said, boy, it'd be kind of great to do a band of all Beach Boys music. And, yeah. uh, sort but of you formulated. do some Jan and Dean as well. We're, we're, be, we're getting into, we're not, mostly we're just uh, getting on the Beach Boy thing. Right, and, right. Uh, and there's some surf music as well, but yeah. it's it's taken on a own. Yeah, because when I hear Jan and Dean, it's almost the same thing. I mean, they could have been intertwined. They'd sound so similar, you know, the early Jan and Dean stuff. Brian just like, actually wrote a lot of their music. Yeah, well, I believe it. It just sounds very, very Beach Boy, you know, all the way through, right? Absolutely. So, 
Yeah. Really deep, because actually when you look at it, you look at the history, is Chuck Berry had a big influence on that. And he even says in Brian Wilson's interview, he talked about how Chuck Berry and plays a lot of tribute to that, because you'll see like Surfing USA is one of the songs that there's a little controversy over there, but uh, yeah, it's fun stuff. Yeah. No, I know the uh, the tribute band thing has just been huge over the last three, four years. We did a uh, interview uh, at one of our shows about a year ago. Uh, we interviewed the uh, Heartbreaker, which is the, the Led Zeppelin tribute mm-hmm. band. Right. And they just do gigs all over. They get up in costume just as you guys do. And they're playing the same gear. And it's the, you know, and, and they're doing very well. And there's such a high demand for um, these bands. I know last week we did an interview with uh, Dave Manichetti from Y&T mm. and uh, you know they're, they're, it's so powerful to bring these back and get them back on stage and, and you know to, to perpetuate this music. It's such a huge thing so um, now it's great to see that you guys are doing it uh, and, and you're doing it so well too. <laughs> so I love that, that first song yeah. Yeah, that, that uh, you know it really worked. So, um, Actually we work hard on getting their exact parts yeah they did they did such a wonderful job well yeah there's all you know going into the harmony and vocal thing tell me a little bit about that you know well actually they're a virtuoso over here oh, Richard, Richard has a lot to do with that yeah. we actually right. all the parts scored all the parts out right exactly um, what, what the Beach Boys did you know Brian got a lot of influence from groups like the four freshmen uh, I think uh, Murray, his father, exposed him to some of that music early on. And mm-hmm. so a lot of those blends were kind of based on that type of stylings. And uh, we've tried to incorporate it and bring it as true as possible, adding maybe a little more of an edge on the guitars, as, as the Beach Boys started to do. You know, it was a very clean sound they started with, playing from right. the Fender amps, and no one had overdrive in those days. Everything was a clean sound. And as they progressed with music, as music itself progressed, as far as people using distortion and things like that, the Beach Boys started to, and we do that too, put a little edge to it. Right. right. And uh, so we start. we have a lot of vocal uh, warm-ups before when we get together and do scales and things like that and work on just trying to, to work on our yeah, blend. It has a real a, a cappello theme to it, yes. um, the, the, the vocals there. Let's talk, you know, you touched on gear a little bit. And I know that the, you know the Fender stuff, because it is clean and through, uh, is you know very pr- predominant on your stage. Uh, so tell us a little bit. I know we have some of the pieces we brought down, and I can see most of them are Stratocasters, and then you have a Precision bass and, and a Ricky to throw in there too. Yes. And uh, but uh, you know, so what amps are you running through the, uh, through the the Strats through? Uh, right now, using a um, the custom has come out with uh, the Deuce Coupe line, mm-hmm. and uh, using uh, the Deuce uh, amps. Now, uh, is this a tube amp or solid state? It's amp? tube. It's a t- that they've come out. It's their anniversary model. Actually, uh, Brian Wilson is using that on their tour yeah. right now as well, oh, cool. and it's all American made. Um, it's their 40th anniversary, mm-hmm. and uh, so you can get a real clean. Chunky sound, if you want, or, or you rip off some dirty distortion, right. two channel. Yeah. Uh, took the the Fender Strat, put a uh, NSC real clean preamps Fender NSC preamps into it, and with a EMG um, uh, pot as well pre for for a clean overdrive, but a power boost mm-hmm. as well, just to, to beef up the instrument. A little. Yeah.